Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? We're ready. Attention. <laughs> now, Elder Jones arose at dawn and put his hunting breeches on and looked up at his shotgun on the wall. And he made his mind up then and there to bag himself a hunk of bear. And hunting, he had plenty on the ball. So he milked the cow then, fed the hogs, and kissed his wife and called the dog, picked up his gun, and started on his quest. And he crossed the creek and hit the trees, threw back his chest and sniffed the breeze, let out a yell, and pounded on his chest. Well, now we hunted all the morning through, but not a bear come into view while Hummer sought to in the kitchen range. And while he was sick as he could be of lamb and chicken fricassee, he craved him as a bear meat for a change. Now, Elmer's mind was in a fog, so we paused and sat down on a log to get his faculties back in a groove. <laughs> And he heard a noise, and standing there, behind him was a grizzly bear. And he figured it was time he made a move. <laughs> well, that gun refused to go. Elmer knew someone better blow. He said, farewell, son, I'm leaving, as of now. And as his shoulders sprouted wings, his feet developed inner springs. To linger longer, he was disinclined. He ran so fast through muck and mire, his ankles and his socks fire. <laughs> well, that bear kept coming out behind. Now a deer with antlers eight feet wide got in the way of Elmer's stride as both of them went head for the brush. <laughs> Elmer said, now listen, son, if that's the fastest you can run, move over, because I'm really in a rush. <laughs> now that bear was gaining an inch by inch and finally we stopped before the clinch as Elmer saw the fence around his place. And he leaped that fence, landed hard, jumped 60 feet across the yard, and slammed the kitchen door in Bruin's face. Well, Elmer saw the place to hide. That bear's still trying to get inside. Mrs. Jones began to pull her hair. She said, now listen, goon, how come you think you're Daniel Boone, who's that day that bear me with you? <laughs> Elmer said, dear, I'm sure that you're aware that Daniel always killed his bear, but honey, I'd have brought this baby home alive. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>